Praise Cafe Television Network. It is an honor to be able to share with you what God has done and is doing in Eddie James Ministries in the life of our young people. Uh, just to share a little bit of what God uh, has called us to do. Uh, our umbrella is Eddie James Ministries. That's kind of our banner name. And we have a, a worship team, a kind of a, a, a vocal ensemble called Ultimate Call. Uh, we have a uh, a band called Tab, short for Tabernacle. We have a dance ministry called Omega. And underneath that banner, we have a, a, men, a men's dance team called Excalibur. And our latest dance team is called Kabod. We have a rap and spoken word poetry ministry called Scribe. But throughout all of that, the music and performing arts and all the Lord has blessed our young people to do, we have a ministry called Dream Life. And Dream Life is what God has given us for high school and college age youth. Uh, who are coming into our ministry to find the Lord, but they're coming from drug addiction, from street life, from gang activity, from violence, from perverse lifestyles of all kinds, and for many of them to sustain victory, they need a different environment to live in. So God has opened up our hearts and our homes and our ministry, and we, are, we now have over 90 young people that live with us full time. And uh, many of them have come as a result of our Dream Life ministry. We have a Dream Life Center in, in uh, Parkersburg, West Virginia. We have one in the Columbus, Georgia area. Uh, the actual city is called Junction City. We have one in Caraville, Florida. We have a, a second year phase in an uh, internship ministry center that is in Cleveland, Tennessee. And uh, we also work with three detox centers in the East Kentucky area. And I have found that uh, after about 13 years now of doing this and taking them right off the streets and right out of addiction and right out of the gang life and bringing them into a place where they can experience God, find God, that Jesus is really what they're longing for. And sometimes the church presents the best answer in the worst way. And we have to learn how to show Jesus the way Jesus is worthy of being shown. And that's what I have found out in that I want to encourage the body of Christ. Uh, sometimes we can find ourselves complacent or find ourselves uh, so, so uh, addicted, if I can say it that way, to the traditions that we are so accustomed to that our young people are dying at the altar of our own preferences and at the altar of our own desires and what we think church should look like and what we think life should look like. But I have found that there's a generation who don't want to be addicted. They don't want to be in gangs. They don't want to live a life of perversion. They don't want to live that way, but they want to release the God identity that is in them. And I want to encourage you to, to do that. I am stirred, and, and this is why I love programs like this one. That is exposing what God is doing in the lives of our young people, helping young people to know that God is good, and God loves them and sees them as, as his own, and, and wants the God identity that is in them to be released. And so uh, I just want to take a moment to, to introduce a, a couple of young people who are in our ministry, who God is really doing a powerful work in their life, who have come into our ministry as a result result of coming from drugs in the streets and now they are not only excited about God and burning for God but they are releasing their genuine identity and serving him and, so, and Grant is a uh, he's been with me now for about four months and uh, he's come from a place where he was homeless and dealing with drugs and now God is doing a great work in his life I just want you to just kind of share a little bit from your heart about what God's done in you son man so uh, I was born to a single mother uh, my dad left me at a young age and anytime I was around him I was just around violence around drugs so I dealt with a lot of resentment a lot of uh, father issues of him not being there luckily I have an amazing stepdad who's been in my life since I was four but uh, you know growing up I started smoking weed at you know 12 start drinking 13 start smoking weed start selling weed and pills and all that stuff so by the time I was 17 I was extremely addicted to pills addicted to heroin at 18 you know, went to rehab, almost died, overdosed, things of that nature. And it's just, um, there was, I felt like there was no hope. So, you know, I came here and I rededicated my life to God. And ever since then, God has instilled in me hope. He's instilled in me purpose. And right now I'm just attaining my salvation. And thanks to a father I never had like Eddie James, I don't think I would ever be in this state where I'm at. So I just thank God and I thank Eddie. God is good, God is good. And so this is, the miracles of Jesus. This is what God can do. You're looking at a miracle. So I want to introduce one more young man that God is really moving in his life and, and I'm going to let him tell his story. God's been so good to him. And his name is Blake. Come on, Blake, and just share what God's done for you. Yes, like you said, my name is Blake and um, I'm 21. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I. God, God has always been around my family and, and 
when, when we did go to church and I from from a very young age I've known there was a call of God on my life and I I never did like responsibility so I always ran away from what what God had for me you know I, I always didn't take the trash out like simple stuff I never <laughs> never cleaned my room and yeah. things like that and and then I, I started to give in to what the world was giving me and so I started drinking I started smoking I started hanging around the wrong crowd and and it was it was horrible and I I, I was so dark and and I became depressed and I was a person that I thought I would never be able to be depressed and to my surprise I, I became sober for the first time in about three months and it was it it, it hurt me and it let me know that I am a real person, you know, I'm not invincible. I do need a, a, a power that's, that's greater than myself. And, and now I am set free from drugs. I'm set free from perversion. I'm set free from alcoholism. I'm, I'm not, not at all who I used to be and I'm totally free thanks to a, a great program like, like EJM, Eddie James Ministries and Dream Life. It's, it's really changed my life and it's had a very powerful Im impact of who I am today. Now, what I love about what Blake is sharing, Blake is an amazing uh, dancer. Uh, he's an artist. He can draw very great. He's, he's got so many gift things that are in his life, and, and God is using him. Uh, and he has a, such a gentle spirit, which is what I love about him. And, uh, and yet he's still a protector. He's got fighter. He'll, 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 in the spirit, he'll fight for you, you know. And I just want to encourage you that there are young people like this all around us. That if we would just open up our hearts, you'd be surprised of the treasure, of the, the, the purpose and potential that are in them. That if we would just unlock that, we would see God shine through them in ways that it just brings uh, unspeakable joy to your heart. And so I want to encourage you, I want to say thank you for allowing us this time to share with you what God's uh, done in our hearts. And I pray that this blesses you. And if I can say anything to stir you, those who are looking at this, asking, can I do something like this? Can I be a light? Can I, can I be a father to a people that's hurting? Can I, can I open up my doors? Yes, you can. God will give you the grace. He'll give you the strength. He'll even give you the resources. He's just looking for a yes. He's just looking for somebody who'll say, God, here I am. Here I am. You can use me. Love you. Hope to see you again soon.